we've mastered the video style in the car now. Anyway, welcome back. Um, if you were here yesterday, we did a, practically I guess, the essential movements I think you should do on leg day. There's not too many, you keep it consistent and uh, you push through it. But uh, yes, this is Juicy Chest Tuesday. Um, we did a bit of a chest, shoulders, a bit of triceps exercise workout. Um, ideally, again, as I've always said, strength is my goal. Um, you go to the next person, hypertrophy is their goal. I'm probably staying within that hypertrophy strength range, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, so I'll run you through what we did. So we first started off with a flat bench or barbell bench press. Always like doing that for a bit of a strength movement, get a good squeeze to it. Um, and yeah, you just really start to activate that chest a bit more. Um, I start off at like 40 kilos, work through that range of motion, just get the shoulders primed up. I got really bad shoulders, so always get to warm them up a bit. But get those warmed up, start activating the muscle fibers in the chest, and then slowly increase the weight. Again, if you watch the videos I'm going to have, you'll say, oh, the range of motion is not full range. I don't do full range when it's in those warm-up sets, just because I want to keep that chest under tension. So you'll see me almost keep my arms bent the whole time. Um, again, it's what works for me. It really just helps to get that chest activated. So I think I went from 40 uh, to 60 to 80, and then eventually we moved up to 100. 100 was my working set range. I think I aimed for like six to eight reps. Um, it moved well, moved well. Um, obviously I'm still working around that 100 to really build up that rep range um, so then I can progress. I think the other day I hit 110 for like three reps. Again, I wanna probably work within that 100 range just to really start uh, building up that one RM. We'll see if we can get to like 120, maybe by the end of the year. We'll set that goal. But with that 100 kilo uh, set, you can see that I was really going all the way down and coming all the way up, uh, just because I was focusing on full range of motion, really proper form and technique. Again, power lifting standards, I guess. Um, try and keep the feet flat, 90 degree angle with the, with the elbows. And yeah, it moved all right. So after that one, uh, we went on to cables. I really enjoy the cables, cable flies. Um, I do two variations. So one, you'll see me like pretty much have it in line with my shoulders and I just come out in front, like clapping out in front. Um, really just gets that squeeze in the chest. And then from there, I'll do this one where I kind of bend over and like pull down again, just further uh, squeezing that chest and really getting a pump on. Um, so yeah, it always feels good like that. I then time to like try and go into shoulders to give my chest a little bit of a break. Obviously we didn't do too many more chest exercises this session because we went pretty heavy with the barbell bench. Um, but then I did lateral raises. Lateral raises are a tough one. Uh, when I first started off doing them, you feel very weak. Just because the muscle, your lateral deltoid, uh, is quite hard to jump straight up high in weight because it's a muscle that a lot of people are more focused on the anterior delts. Like for me, I have very developed anterior delts compared to my laterals. So it's taken a while for me to actually move into a decent rep range, or like weight range, I should say. Uh, I ended up hitting 17.5s. I think it was around 10 reps. Felt good. I really like controlling that motion. Helps to really stabilize my shoulder. I have a bit of shoulder injury. I've been kind of training and stabilizing for a couple of years. So I've torn my labrum, which is pretty much the ligament which helps to stabilize and lock in that uh, shoulder joint into the socket. So I've torn that. So um, no good. But I've found that by strengthening all the deltoid and all the shoulder muscles around it, you can really stabilize it in itself without having to get surgery. Again, not a clinical opinion. Just what I've found has worked for me. Went into lateral raises, smashed them out, felt great. Um, actually felt a little bit of a, a chest um, pump going on straight after cables to go into lateral raises, which was quite, quite nice. Uh, after that, we went into shoulder press uh, with dumbbells. Found a good working range. I went up to 35s, didn't get the exact range of motion I liked. So I dialed it back down to 30s, tried to get a lot more range of motion. I think I hit around that eight to 10 rep range. Felt all right. I mean, ideally with strength, it doesn't matter if you're going well, you want to stay within that 90 degree, I guess, range of motion. But with that, I like going a little bit deeper just to really help develop those shoulder muscles a little bit more. So I did that for 30 kilos with the deeper range and then 35 with the less of a deeper range. A couple sets of that felt nice. Um, then from there, we went on to face pulls. I really am enjoying face pulls at the moment just because posterior delt is very uh, overlooked, I guess, in the mainstream training landscape. Also gives you upper back a bit of a nice pump and develops that out a little bit more, but 
ideally it's more focused on the posterior delts. So I've worked through some face pulls with uh, the cables. That felt nice. Love face pulls. Posterior delts felt nice. Uh, felt juicy. Uh, and then from there, I think we finished off with instead of doing tricep pull downs or push downs like I normally do, I went on to um, tricep dips body weight. Haven't done them in a while. Um, ideally, I was getting around that like 12 rep range, um, decent range of motion. Um, but yeah, it feels good. I like doing that, and I try and lean forward more. Because when you do tricep dips and lean forward, you really engage that chest too with the shoulder and triceps and things like that. So yeah, it felt nice. It was good to do it. Haven't done it in a while, so probably integrate that a little bit more into the workout. But overall, um, if you look at the lifts and how I train chest, a lot of my lifts like barbell bench and other movements are tricep dominant. Does that mean that's the right way for you? It doesn't. Um, some people have more shoulder integration, more chest integration. When I bench, my hands are pretty tight, so I use more triceps. It's what works for me. Um, if you do feel like you are tricep dominant, give it a go, tighten your grip a little bit, um, and just focus on lighter weight before you jump into heavier weight, obviously. But yeah, that's what I train. Tricep dominant exercises, really focus on tricep engagement, and it feels nice. <laughs> it feels good. But yes, tomorrow we'll be back end biceps. Whether we do a home workout or out and about workout, well, we'll see. Um, but yeah, back and biceps should be good, should move well. Um, and yeah, I just want to say a big thanks for the engagement on the previous video. Well, I mean, two videos ago. We actually hit like 28 views, which is insane. Um, and I've only started this channel probably within the last week or so. And to get that already on a video is awesome, so I'm a bit, a bit chuffed with that. Uh, I'll keep to do this content. Again, I'm no expert. Um, I just film what I enjoy and hopefully you guys enjoy the content and yeah, we'll try and get, get strong together. You know, it's taken me a while to get into form and really work on the technique and break down all of these movements, but yeah, we'll continue to grow and continue to strengthen up. I'll also add at the end of this video a little bit of a clip of what I have after the gym. Ideally within that 30 to 45 minute range or time, early if you can, I'll probably have like a protein shake. A bit of protein, a bit of milk. You don't need milk, you can put water if you want. I'll show you the protein I use. Again, not sponsored by it. It's just what I like of the taste and also how it breaks down. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I have and yeah, we'll get into it a little bit more with maybe some other videos, a little bit of the supplements I go through, like pre-workout and anything else I'm doing. So hope you guys enjoy the video and check out the, the cheeky chest pump. Enjoy. Come on, Jason, you can do it. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sub zero works well. Um, I find it good, dissolves well, breaks down well. Just add that two scoops, seven and a half scoops in milk, and yeah, tastes good, good recovery, and it makes me feel good. Um, this one or international protein is probably the better one that I have tried. If you like the the cookie caramel taste, good shout. So there's that one there. Give it a go. <laughs> 